bearded dragons are lizards in the genus Pagona. There are eight recognized species of bearded dragons out of about 300 species of lizards in the family Agamidae, which are commonly also referred to as Agamids. Agamids are only found in this part of the world, but the eight species of bearded dragons are confined to the continent of Australia. Bearded dragons have a wide, flat body that kind of looks like it's been mushed, or in scientific terms we call this dorsoventrally flattened. The mush body plan, although it's not consistent across all of the agamids, is shared by such genuses as the agamas and the uromastixes. If we look at the underside of the neck of the bearded dragon, we see these wide, long, sweeping bones. This is part of the hyoid apparatus, or sometimes it's called the hyobranchial apparatus. So what this does is helps the animal feed, but in the bearded dragon it has a second function. Whenever a bearded dragon is ticked off, it wants to make its head and face look as big as possible, which is a common tactic in the animal world. It uses this hyoid apparatus to flare out its neck skin, and the namesake bearded dragon kind of comes from the really spiky beard that you see underneath these guys' chins. See this hole in the top of the head? This structure is known as the parietal or the pineal eye. It is a photoreceptive organ, sometimes called the third eye, that helps maintain the circadian rhythm and manage the thermoregulatory behavior of lizards. If you're a savvy skeleton builder, you notice something is missing in the eye sockets of the bearded dragon. What's missing are the sclerotic rings, or the scleral ossicles as they're sometimes called. These small, paper-thin, overlapping bones provide structure to the inside of the eyeball. At least, that's their hypothesized function. These rings are found in many lizards, birds, fish, but are absent from mammals and crocodilians. Another quirky feature of lizard skeletal anatomy is that most lizards have an open brain case. This means the anterior or front part of the brain case that would normally be bone in other vertebrates is open. There's only soft tissue protecting the brain in the front, as you can clearly see here as I push the probe through and out the foramen magnum or the hole that the spinal cord comes out in in the back. Now one of the skeletal features that is specific to agamids themselves and unique in the lizard world is the type of teeth that they have. Agamids are what are known as acrodonts, and their teeth are socketed in and originate from the apex or the top of the jaw. All other lizards are known as pleurodonts, with the teeth originating from and socketed in the inside wall of the jaw. Last but not least, the agamids do not drop their tail. You can see this in the skeletal anatomy because they do not have fracture points in their tail. These fracture points found in other lizards are actually the place where vertebrae separate during the tail drop itself. This is an appealing characteristic in a pet lizard, as even with rough handling and stress, the tail of the lizard will never fall off. Well that's it for now, I appreciate you guys listening to me ramble about random stuff. But if you like these videos, uh, give me a uh, comment in the section down below, or ask me a question, or give me a suggestion for future videos. I really like doing stuff like this, although it isn't my main focus. Well, I hope you guys learned something. I had a lot of fun making this video and actually doing the build itself. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. This has been the Articular Reptile. Bye!